Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today we have a reaction video. Nothing more to say besides I had a lot of people send this to me, and for good reason. So let's give it a watch, reconvene, and talk about what we just watched. I swear to fucking God, if one more man tells me at the end of a date that I have taught him so much, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Women are not your teachers. Women are not your teachers. Women are not here to make you better men. Women are not your teachers. Right, short and sweet. Didn't take much to get the point across on that one. You guys can let me know if I'm alone in this, but I'm so confused. I think more context would be nice because I'm really confused, but isn't this what women have been saying that they want from men for so long? All of a sudden we don't want it? I love teaching people things. I absolutely light up inside when someone leaves a comment that they learned something from me or found value in something that I said. I can't even fathom. <laughs> being upset over that. Are you confused? I'm confused. And again, maybe we need more context, but I'm just having a hard time understanding what the heck does she want then? Like, I guess I'm just confused on what the issue is. God forbid a man respect you, find your conversations intellectually stimulating, value what you say, or care about your opinions. The horror. Like, what? Pardon my lack of grace here, but this is one of the most idiotic videos that I have ever seen. There's so much we can learn here. She's gonna love that. So you taught me so much somehow translates to, I'm not your teacher. It is so strange how a compliment turns into something negative. And what's crazy is I actually see this happen a lot. And I've always thought that it's just peculiar. Like a compliment or positive reinforcement acknowledgement of something ends up being, I'm not your maid, I'm not your mom, I'm not your teacher, I'm not your property. But yet at the same time, I want you to acknowledge me and the things that I do, and I want you to tell me that I'm pretty or else I'm not getting enough validation from you and I'm going to think that you don't like me. Make it make sense. I mean, let's take a step back for a second and sort of flip the script. You know, this morning, my lovely husband made me breakfast and a coffee. Imagine if when I thanked him, he said, well, I'm not your chef. I'm not your barista. If I thanked him for putting air in the tires on our car and he said, well, I'm not your mechanic. Or he got upset. I really can't imagine dealing with that. It is very clear that there's a buildup here of resentment. And it's, it's baffling. I saw someone post once online with my own eyes that they were telling their date that they don't drink. And their date was like, oh, that's great, I like that. And she was mad that that's what he said and said, I don't do it for you. Like what on earth? What planet are we living on? It's almost like everything turns into something negative or some sort of personal attack. Like it's very built up resentment. It is very insecure and it's getting absurd. Like, I really cannot imagine being mad if someone said, oh, you know, you taught me a lot. I learned a lot from you. Isn't that what we want? And I do also want to say, not all women are like this, okay? Please understand that. I am in no way stating that all women are insufferable like this one. What I am saying is that some women are impossible to please. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, they will find something wrong with it. And I would personally recommend avoiding women who act this way. Someone who acts like this is simply not ready or able to be in a healthy relationship because they are often deeply unhappy with themselves and this sort of behavior is a projection of that. Being this angry and upset and enough to post a video online about it that a man said, oh, you taught me a lot. I can't imagine being that miserable in life. There are a lot of people, unfortunately, who live in a constant state of chaos, drama, wanting to be mad at you for something, being miserable. Those people aren't undeserving of love, and that's not what I'm saying here, but it is not your job to join them in the dysfunction. People like this have healing to do, and it is their job to do so, not yours to fix. So I really want you guys to understand that. Again, not all women are like this. I don't want this video to give off the impression that that is the case or that that is what I'm saying, because it's absolutely not. Um, but I think there are a lot of people who operate this way and it is very unhealthy. And it's hard to be in a relationship with someone like this who always picks apart everything you say or finds wrongdoings in everything that you do. There are even people who do it online, and I can tell just in comments. 
you know, I am totally open to constructive criticism, so that's not what I'm talking about, but I think there are people who just try to find something wrong with every single thing that you say or do. And I just wouldn't want to be around people like that. People who act like this are just energy vampires and negative Nellies, and it's, it's really exhausting and draining to deal with people like this, especially in a romantic relationship when you're so closely tied with someone. But man, if you're getting this upset on a first date about something so harmless that someone said, and again, maybe we're missing context here, but I have to think she would have included that because this just makes no sense to me. But if you were getting this bent out of shape about a line that was so harmless, I, I hope someone gives you a hug. And I also wanna say, your significant other should challenge you and make you better. You know, she said, women are not your teachers. Women are not here to make you better men. First of all, let me look something up. What percent of teachers are women? According to this, 74.3% of all teachers are women while 25.7% are men. So women are your teachers, if we're getting technical here. Anyway, but she said, women are not your teachers, women are not your teachers, women are not here to make you better men. Tell me you're incapable of being in a healthy relationship without telling me you're incapable of being in a healthy relationship. Your significant other should challenge you and you should both help make each other better. My husband and I make each other better through our mutual support encouragement, communication, and challenging each other. When men and women are open to listening to each other's ideas, thoughts, opinions, perspectives, I think it can be an incredibly powerful and often transformative thing. Men and women often bring different perspectives, skills, and strengths to a relationship and can support each other in a multitude of ways. You know, we also often have different experiences and perspectives which can lead to deeper understanding and empathy. You know, I'm assuming that that's why a lot of you watch my channel, because I offer a woman's perspective that as a man, you don't have. The same way that I find it incredibly helpful to read your comments to get a male point of view. I have learned so much from you guys. The dynamic between men and women is multifaceted and both genders benefit from the unique qualities that the other brings to the table. Being open to that and trying to learn from each other is a really positive thing in my opinion. So I have to strongly disagree here. I think men and women have the ability to make each other so much better. Especially when you're in a romantic relationship. Like that's kind of the point. You're working as a team to make things better, to make your lives better, to make each other better. You can't force someone. You can't change people. But in a relationship, you can challenge each other and help each other grow and heal. And I would hope that that's happening in your relationships. If not, what's the point? You know, not the greatest video that we reacted to today, but again, I think there was a lot to learn here. You can let me know if you're also confused. Maybe we can get a conversation going down in the comments. Um, is this something that you guys have experienced in dating? Women, I would love to hear from you if you're watching. I even tried to go back on her profile to see if she did a follow-up video or an explanation or gave a little bit more context. And at the time of filming this, I didn't see anything. Maybe she will in the future. And honestly, I would like to see it. Um, but just from this one clip, I am so confused. But anyway, I'm going to stop ranting now. That's all I have for this video. If you liked it or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. Also, just want to say if you have any content that you want me to react to, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, feel free to send it my way. The easiest way is probably to just tag me in the video so that it comes up in my little mentions. You could also email it to me or send it to me in my DMs. Whatever floats your boat, but I love getting content from you guys to react to um, and giving you guys the reactions that you want to see. So if you haven't already, be sure to follow me over on Instagram at Courtney Christine Ryan. I love connecting with all of you guys over on there as well. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.